Hello and welcome to 1609 Selkirk Road, Dayton, Ohio. Here I'm out in front of the property. It's pouring down rain right now, so I'm doing this from my vehicle. So if you see my rear view here and there, I do apologize. But this is a vinyl sided ranch home with a full finished basement with a two car garage. And that is a big two car garage back there. A lot of nice updates. It's a very clean home. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here I just came through the front door right here. This will be where your guests come in or you'd probably more come in on the driveway side door, which is over here. So this is the driveway that goes back to the two car garage. Have our paint material and stuff right here, but the house is done. We have new flooring in here. This is all luxury vinyl plank. Everything has a fresh coat of paint. It's like we have a new ceiling fan here and these are mirrors. Kind of gives it an open floor plan in here. Walk into here, this is our dining area. This is all ceramic or porcelain tile. Then it comes into our kitchen. And this was updated in the 80s. And you can do gas or electric for your range and then your fridge would go right there. Kitchen sink does overlook the backyard. Some nice cedar pine trees there. It looks like there is space behind the garage as well. And it's a pouring down rain today, so we're not going back there. It looks like the yard is partially fenced. A new door here, it appears, and a new front door as well. Not like that glass. We come through here. This is a coat closet right here. This is a linen closet, and it also doubles as a secondary linen closet in the bathroom. This bathroom is just a couple years old. And this is where I say you can like reach into the linen closet from here, so this little cubby hole. So I believe they said this bathroom is uh, about five years old. So newer, newer vanity, newer everything in here. And this is a walk-in shower. This is a four piece and very little step going in there. And this is ceramic or porcelain tile on the floor here. Bedroom number one, this is in the back middle of the home. All luxury vinyl in here as well. There's our closet. We have double shelf in the closet. And it's two-tone paint. We have gray on the walls in here and then white on the baseboard. There's our bathroom to give you a perspective. So if you're coming down the hallway, what we just looked at is the first bedroom on the left. The other bedroom on the left, this is on the back right of the home. Ditto in here, luxury vinyl. And then bedroom number three. This is on the front right of the house and the closet is over here to the right. There's also, we're gonna go check out the basement right now, but there is a fourth bedroom down there and a potential teenager suite or in-law suite of sorts in the bath in the basement that we'll go check out now. And this is how we get down to the basement right here. So right in between the living room and the kitchen. I'll meet you downstairs. All right, so here it just came down to the basement. And this is pretty big down here. Lots of possibilities you can do. Um, look at this old stove here. Old stove fireplace, I would assume that this probably doesn't work and it's more of a decorative piece, but it looks like it might've been used at one time, but that's something that you know hasn't been used in years and is not warranted more for decorations now, but plenty of room to have a rec room down here, a gym, theater room, could put a ping pong table or a pool table down here. And there were the lights kind of wreaking havoc on the camera. It's not super dark down here. Um, these are all built in doors. So this is not a wall. These are all storage compartments. It's CMDSB are the handles, which is really cool. So like if we, Open this one. That's where our updated panel box is. And this looks like it's probably a 200 amp service. I can't tell by looking at it, but looking at the size of it, I'd say that's a 200 amp panel there. But all kinds of storage cubbies to put the games or the pool sticks or uh, whatever you need to. The gas meters also and one of theirs. And this does have a uh, sink down here. And it's really cool. This is all like kind of knotty pine. 
that they did here. And this looks like all like oak flooring that they put together, polyurethane it and made a countertop. So it is kind of a wet bar down here. And this is the area that could be a fourth bedroom, but it doesn't meet egress because um, it's underground, but it could be a fourth bedroom. We're calling it an office um, storage underneath the stairs here. And there is a half bathroom down here. So this is where I say it could be a mother-in-law suite or teenager suite of sorts. There's no shower, but you could put a shower in here, but there's not one currently. And then just a big closet over there. And then our mechanical room. This is a neat basement. The mechanical room, there's the stairs where we came down. Here's our water heater and that's gas. Our furnace right here, that is gas as well. And then over here's where our washer and dryer would go. And there's plenty of room over here for shelves and you know, for folding tables and things like that. And as we're walking through here, today we're getting record rainfall, literally at the time of shooting this video. I do not see any water um, in this basement at all at the time of shooting this video. And I think they said we're getting three to five inches of rain today. Next, I'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this home. A house like this in this area, and I call this the, the area I call this like the Dayton Riverside Kettering Melting Pot area over by Frickers. <laughs> it's what I always describe this neighborhood as, which is a, a very nice and highly desirable area of Dayton here. So thanks for watching and we look forward to talking to you.